oil pipeline vandalization in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria has become a very serious problem. Nigeria loses billions of Naira as a result of oil theft in the Niger Delta region. The members of the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengasan, carried out a peaceful protest in the federal capital territory, Abuja. They were calling on federal government and all other agencies responsible for the protection and security of pipelines in the Niger Delta. The Pengasan president, Festus Osifo, has called on the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mohamed Buhari, to give a marching order to security agencies who are responsible for the security of pipelines in the Niger Delta to protect pipelines and make sure that the oil theft is stopped. Uh, invariably, today, we felt that we needed our voice to be held. The issue of pipeline vandalism is growing on a daily basis. We have had several meetings with all stakeholders consisting of the regulators in the oil and gas industry as well as the operators in the oil and gas industry, up to the security personnel uh, in the oil and gas industry. We had interaction as well with the former Inspector General of Police. We've had interaction as well with the security chief, uh, because for us, this menace is killing this country. Yeah. This menace, we cannot be borrowing money at several trillions of naira. No at way. At the end of the day, we are, we are losing over four to five hundred barrels of food oil per day to oil teeth. For us, we say no, no, no to this. For us, we say this is the time for all Nigerians, all well-meaning Nigerians to close, to, to close ranks together. Yes. The time where all well-meaning Nigerians, anybody that means well for this nation, for us to come together. Because if you look at today, we are running on deficit budget. If you look at today, Nigerian government is borrowing up to six, seven, eight trillion naira to finance our budget. The money we are using today to service our to service our loans is close to eight trillion naira. By next year budget, we said that we are going to spend up to eleven trillion naira to service our loans, and most of this money are borrowed. We are borrowing money today because we cannot realize money from our crude oil sales. This is the first time in Nigerian history whereby the crude oil is selling above $100 per barrel and we cannot make money as a nation. As a nation, we are still borrowing. borrowing. What the government is doing is that they are putting the future of the children yet to born in jeopardy. Because if we get the yes. It will, will get to a time that we can no longer serve in that debt. It will get to a time that as a nation we are going to default. And when that happens, our Naira will turn to the banana. When that happens, we will need a truckload of Naira to buy a loaf of bread, just as it happened in Zimbabwe. We must God shout before we get to that time. God forbid! We must God shout God. before it gets to that time. Yes. So that all well-meaning Nigerians must come together. We must chase these oil thieves. We must chase these vandals yes. beyond the shores of Nigeria. And those that are apprehended, they must be prosecuted. Yes. Because what we have said is that it is not sufficient for us to be changing security personnel every now and then. Tell them! Tell them! Tell them. Tell them. The soldiers sent security personnel. They transfer them outside and they now move the new ones over there. There is a total collusion going on. Yes. 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 And yes. time that yes. this must stop. Yes. What is our concern? We are patriotic Nigeria. Yes. And even our members are losing jobs. Operators of these oil and gas companies can no longer pay the salaries no, of our right. members. It is a problem today and it will be a problem tomorrow until we act now. It was based on this that we said we have to come and meet with the Inspector General of Police that we understand that uh, he may not be around. For us to lay our fears and for us to tell them that it is time for us to act. We are tired of rhetoric. Yes, we are tired of stories. Yes. We are tired of press statements. Yes. We are tired of talk, talk, talk. Yes. The time to act is now. Now! The time to act is now. now. Solidarity forever! Solidarity forever! We have the letter that we want to uh, give to the IG to be given to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yes. So we hereby present this letter to you. 
as the most senior officer here this afternoon and as a representative of the Inspector General of Police. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate it. Solidarity! Solidarity! He also threatened that oil workers would withdraw their services should government fail to take serious action to stop oil theft. So please, I want to appeal to as you can peacefully, please dispatch also peacefully and go your normal businesses. I want to assure you that your voice will be heard. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Soli, 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 that it is for us. Forever, for the youth.